Well, here we are, back in early September 1811, in mid-Spain, trying to r remove the French oppressors from our dear homeland. So, uh, in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is the next um, episode of the Peninsular Campaign. So, let's go ahead and end the turn, because that's probably where I left off, and if the French are going to make any kind of attacks, then we'll find out. But it looks like they're about to counterattack this little city. And all I've got there is some, uh, militia. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot I can do about that. But, uh, we'll take care of them all in due time. Anyway, yeah, let's end the turn. We'll see what's going on. Looks like the British have taken a couple of provinces up in the north. And they want me to surrender at Ciudad Real, and I will not be doing that. And then I'm sure that they'll want me to surrender at this place, too. Um, let's see what's happened here. Nope, the French haven't quite besieged me here. Let's go ahead and build that new building. I've got a couple of units of light imp. And uh, I'm not going to get these fusiliers trained in time. But we'll get them on the roster so that it'll help uh, protect that province up there. It looks like Salamanca. Alright. Let's see, let's see. My main army is in Madrid, uh, because we were able to just capture Madrid. And I do have a unit of... I have a unit of provincial militia I can leave there, and then my other army is right here. And I have some militia in that that I can leave as well. Let's get our armies on the move. So if the French want to counterattack, that's fine. Uh, I'll take those cities back. I'll create another army uh, back in the backfield, but I'm going to keep the kind of blitzkrieg motion that I have uh, going on the French for now. So I'll just leave minimal defenses in these cities. And like I said, we'll, we'll create another army uh, once we get some money on the next turn. So let's go ahead and end another turn. Alright, the French are going to attack me. And uh, I think I'll record this because it'll be kind of a long shot battle. They have some Fusilier the Lion, some Chev uh, Chasher, uh, Cheval. And I don't really have good troops for fighting them, but if I can get into a building or something, it's possible that I might be able to win this one. In any case, I'll see you on the All right, I am map. back on the battle map. The uh, main aim of my defense is to stay up in these buildings here, and that'll make it harder for the, uh, the French to uh, fire artillery at me or to use their ranged troops against me. So that's kind of the purpose of my defense here. And see here, I'm going to get some cheap shots at the French units. Of course, my units are absolute crap, and so they haven't even hit a single gigantic horse. How can you not hit one of those giant targets? So I have troops in this building as well. And I guess they don't have a clean line of fire here. There they go. I've killed one of the French horsemen so far. So you can tell that my men have absolutely amazing accuracy. It's no wonder that they are in the local provincial militia instead of one of their regular units. And here's the uh, French Chachua Cheval. Ah, I got another one! Ooh, a few more of them. That's right. Turds are no match for my highly trained provincial militia, which uh, are dying in, even in the building. It's pretty sad. But I've got my men taking all kinds of cheap shots at the, uh, the French horsemen, and that's what I want. Uh, again, this is going to uh, kind of this. This is just going to be like a my best overall defense is to stay up in these buildings where the French have a hard time outflanking me, and they have to take fire from my uh, my men garrison in this building. Oh crap! Okay, let's see. This is what I don't want. I don't want the French horses to charge in because if they do, we're going to be in big trouble. I want my men to shoot down as many of them as possible because uh, horsemen versus crappy infantry like mine is, is really bad. And now they, the French artillery is actually opening up finally. I'm surprised they haven't been gunning my building down yet. If they had started to shoot my building with their cannons, my aim was to just uh, retreat. 
here we go. This is, I want the French general to get killed up here. And I, may, I still may not win the battle, but if he'll go ahead and get killed, that'll be helpful for me. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, the building that I have my troops in there just got pummeled with a, a cannon shot, so I am going to get out of there. Because this building is coming down quick. Alright, so we are fleeing the premises. And with good reason. Get out of there, man. Run for it. Not the place you want to be right now. Anyway, uh, hopefully my little plan will, will work here. If not, it will at least um, badly damage the French uh, in their attempt to make it into my city. Here's a unit of French Lightfoot. I'm going to try and shoot them up as best I can and then charge right into them in melee since the uh, Lightfoot is probably not a whole lot better in melee than my um, militia units. And here they are lining up to exchange fire and that is not what I want to be doing. So I'm going to immediately charge in there and I'm going to bring in another unit to reinforce. Okay, and see the French Lightfoot is retreating. That's good because there I just got a rear charge on them. Of course, my men still aren't causing a very considerable amount of damage. Uh, like I said, my units are just absolute crap, so even French Lightfoot might be able to beat them in a melee. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and get the rest of my men to charge in here. We want to we wanna destroy this French Lightfoot unit. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, the horsemen are charging in. That is bad. So we're going to want to reinforce here. Ah, crap, our general's dead. Or no? Yeah, our general's dead. Darn it. That should have been the French general. How's he still alive? He's getting shot in the back by his own men while meleeing my men. Oh yeah, there's my uh, brave men over there running away from the French light infantry. Unable to defeat uh, two units of... Or two units of my mob can't even defend their homeland against... Uh, or what? Now all my men are running away. What a bunch of cowards. Anyway, so I tried to put up a brave defense. I was a good leader for them. It's just that my men were too busy wetting their pants and defecating all over the ground uh, to defend their homeland. Way to go, you bunch of cowards. Now your families are going to be killed. Hope you're proud of yourselves. Anyway, <laughs> just giving them a hard time. Uh, I guess they did about as good as they could for being a bunch of bedwetting pansy sissies that eat nothing but whipped cream all day long. Alright, seriously, I'm done making fun of them. Here we are back on the battle map. I only managed to kill 83 of the French troops, but hey, that's 83 more men killed than uh, would have been had I surrendered. So I'll consider that a uh, temporary victory for myself. So the French have retaken Rial, and we're going to want to rectify that, because that makes me quite unhappy. So let's get some recruitment uh, moving. There's a couple of units of line that will get training. And what other cities we got around here? Seville. Uh, we'll move... Well, let's see. I didn't know the French were in control of this region either. I guess the French are finally starting to push back. Um, I've kind of been walking all over them in recent history on this campaign. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Uh, my armies are en route to their next French targets. Here we're going to demand surrender. And they obliged. And here we're going to demand surrender as well. And the French obliged yet again. So there's two bloodless victories. Now we just need to get rid of some of that um, French territory that's behind my lines, and that's what I'm training that other army for. And here in a couple of turns when it's ready, uh, we'll match. Uh, we'll march back and uh, take it back. All right. So let's go ahead in this new province, get some building started. I'm gonna leave my army here for a couple of turns. Uh, there's a French army out here in our outskirts, and I think I'm actually gonna go uh, march out and meet them. Let's see. They got some nice peaceful music playing for me in the background. Yeah, let's march out here and meet the Frenchies. Uh, because I want to take them out on the field. I hate having to maneuver around all the buildings and waiting around and everything. 
Let's see, where'd my other French army just conquer? Right here. And it looks like the French are sending a small force uh, behind my back. And I will keep them from doing so. So let's get my army here. And intercept this uh, small French army. Anyway, that ought to give the French something to think about. And let's end yet another turn. Alright, it looks like the French are attacking me out here on the plane. This one's not going to be worth my time to show you, so we'll just auto-resolve. And that was obviously going to be a victory, because I had British help. And they want Madrid to surrender. And I say, no. And where is this fight taking place? Wow, yeah, there's no way I'll win that. Might as well just auto-resolve that. Darn. So the French, I guess, went around my back and took Madrid back. So what we will do in retaliation, and it looks like the French just marched right around my army right here. That's kind of what I figured they might do. That's probably how they got to Madrid, come to think of it. This is what I hate about, um, another thing I dislike about the AI in Total War games is it's almost like they're programmed to not necessarily be good and create kind of a realistic fight, but more so to just be like as annoying as possible. I mean, if there's one thing that the AI is good at, it's fighting like the most annoying war of attrition possible. Uh, they're just absolutely amazing at it, and uh, it never ceases uh, to get on my nerves. Uh, I'm going to put construction on auto-manage as well. I want the computer to take care of that. Uh, let's keep ending some turns here. So the French are making kind of an annoying pushback now, and like I said, it's mainly just because I don't have the troops to leave in every city, and so all the French have to do is just march around my, uh, my standing army in the field, and uh, they'll basically be able to uh, just get to whatever city they want to. Looks like I'm finally going to catch up with this French army. And uh, they don't have much of an army here, but it says that they have a 50-50 chance of winning this battle. That's pretty outstandingly fictitious to me. I'm going to fight this battle. I'm not going to show it to you, but I will give you the results. All right, as expected, I easily defeated that little French army that was supposed to have been able to beat me. Um, so no real worries there. So we've gotten rid of the little French problem behind our lines there. And I need to retrain these men and... Um, recruit some more uh, line and light infantry so I'll have them on the way and I'll get another of uh, who's ours as well anyway hope you've enjoyed this video that's about all I have time for now I'll bring you more peninsular campaign in the future